What's up, guys? This is Darius from Speak Geek, bringing you a Street Geek review of Alien Covenant. And yes, the moment is finally here. We Xenomorph fans, Predator fans, Alien fans, been waiting for this shit. Boom, it's here. Bam. And if I were to describe Alien Covenant, it would be a sexy ass looking cake, but it has red icing. So you just take off the red icing and you pick apart the parts of the cake that you like and you savor those parts. That is Alien Covenant. Alien Covenant is a film directed by Ridley Scott with a screenplay by John Logan and Dante Harper and a story by Jack Paglin and Michael Green. And it is a film about a group of colonizers who stumble upon a fresh planet after receiving a signal in space that hints at human life. So what do they do? They track that signal down, find that it's coming from a planet that is teeming with what seems to be amazing abundant forms of life. And they go there and it turns out it's all, it, it's all not what it seems and so horror ensues afterwards. So I'm going to start with good things first. The good thing about Alien Covenant is that it is a great, gruesome follow-up to Prometheus. And it has a lot of standout actors in it, such as Danny McBride and Billy Curdup and Catherine Watterson and Michael Fassbender. Mainly Michael Fassbender, because Michael Fassbender, this is Michael Fassbender's movie, hands down. This might as well be his entire franchise. Like, this is all going to revolve around his character, David. Because of the things that are revealed within the film, you come to realize that David might as well be the centerpiece. Man's creation is the centerpiece to man's own destruction. I think that that's kind of the 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 center line of the entire Alien franchise now that that Ridley Scott is trying to get across. And I think that this film does so beautifully, but it stumbles to do a lot of other things well. And that's kind of where the negative aspects of Alien Covenant come in, come to light. Alien Covenant is dumbass decision the movie. That's what Alien Covenant is. It is it is like let's get characters, let's have them make dumbass decisions to progress the story forward and then that's our movie. That's kind of what it felt like because only a few characters were doing anything smart such as Danny McBride's character Tennessee and Catherine Watterson's character Daniels but a lot of other characters like Billy Curtis' character weren't really they like they all all of the characters had things to work with but many parts of the story felt compelling and worth investing in but not enough time was spent with those parts such as the relationship between the crew members if you didn't watch the previous clips online you could have been lost in the sauce when it comes to who's with who and how much certain people mean to each other and most of the characters fall flat because with such a wide cast of characters I feel that I understand well I understand that it's natural to only focus on a few but a lot of them have great things going on that you kind of really want to know what what's, what it's all about but it trails off because it, it's telegraphed heavily that they're about to bite it my final thoughts on this film is that it felt like a pit stop in the alien universe we really didn't learn anything about our makers but we did get a compelling story almost like a great side quest in a video game with Michael Fassbender, Catherine Watterson, and Billy Curtip, and Danny McBride. Those guys really stood out and they carried the entire film. And I think that Billy Curtip's character was had great... Billy had great material to work with. It's just that his character falls flat halfway through the film. And that's kind of how this film is. There's a lot of... This film pretty much... Its characters are a metaphor for it, the, the film itself. Where it's like... There's a lot of interesting things going on, but then you just trail off and fall flat. That's pretty much it. And there, it, it's there are two films within this movie. One film focuses on one thing, and then the next part of the film is another film that focuses on a completely different thing. And my final word for this film is that it does give a sort of true origin to the Xenomorph, which I feel this film really should have been titled Alien Origin because it really takes time to answer the question of where these creatures come from and the motivation behind their design and why they are so perfect, which is really compelling. But like I said, this film has many compelling moments, 
that just don't stick together so you're left kind of trying to savor what you can and it's still fun and enjoyable to watch but like I said you got to savor those moments like I said before it's a sexy ass cake with red icing take the red icing off and then just try to cut it up and to see what you can get maybe mix it with some ice cream and you'll be in, you'll be in good hands but uh yeah alien covenant my final score i'd give it a 7.2 out of 10 it has great compelling moments that are wonderful to watch but its characters fall flat and this the film as a whole kind of t- falls off a bit but it's sti- it, 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 it leaves you wanting more but in a way that's a good and bad thing it's a bittersweet kind of thing and yeah i would recommend you and anyone go out and watch it because i think that it's worth the time to watch and nowadays monster films are becoming kind of obsolete not obsolete but they're becoming irrelevant because if you look at the box office for alien covenant it, it's not that great and i really hope that the film picks up over time but yeah let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of alien covenant if you enjoyed it if you hated it what were some of the parts that you enjoyed try to keep it as spoiler free as possible just in case other people haven't seen it yet and yeah if you like this video leave a thumbs up and subscribe to speak geek unlimited peace